Okay, this is the condensing unit video. And this is the electric service disconnect for the condensing unit. And this disconnect should be sealed, should have been sealed on three sides to help to prevent moisture from getting inside of your wall. Okay, that's going to allow premature rotting of your siding. Just fits in here like this. It's called dead front. That's our electric service receptacle outlet. That's a good thing. Coming along here, we see that this refrigerant piping insulation is the right type of stuff. A lot of times it's not. But right here, these are Schrader valves. Look that up in the dictionary. Schrader valve caps, you won't find it. This is your refrigerant piping service valve outlet caps. These should be anti-theft, and they're not. The wrong kind of caps. This is our data plate right in here, where we learned that the system was manufactured two years ago. It might just be have been one year in use, but it was manufactured two years ago. Uh, we learned that is a 410A is the refrigerant. That's the good stuff. It's at least a 14 sear unit. Um, it's four tons. We learned that, and it's going to take a 45 amp breaker which we're going to be looking for so coming on along we have the wrong straight about caps our coils are very dirty and that's on you guys okay it's gonna be a lot more efficient and it's gonna last a lot longer if you clean these coils now this unit was not installed level that level does that look level to you doesn't look real it doesn't look level to me all right so our units crooked and we do not have a rain diverter on the roof line above the condensing unit so any water that comes off of here it cascades off of here just crashes onto the unit and that was also going to cause premature failure of your fan other components you're supposed to have one that's just all there is to it so what did we learn? We learned that our, oh, we well, got more. This is the evaporator coil drain line. And they are allowed to discharge away from the house. A lot of times in town, you know, they go into your sewer system. So this is not an illegal application. So long as it drains away from the house and it doesn't become a nuisance to your neighbors. So right here, I mean, honestly, it's a nuisance to you. This is a conducive condition for termites. You can see how the moss is growing in the water and, and such. And so this is just, you know, um, dogs coming down here, children playing, mosquitoes, West Nile disease, that kind of thing. So while technically it could be argued that this is not a code violation, it is because it does discharge into an area where it creates a nuisance and it's conducive to wood destroying insects and it's conducive to mosquitoes.